Hello, I'm David, David Becker, and um, I'm with Legion Papers. Uh, we're here at Legion Papers today, and we're, I'm introducing the brand new Stonehenge Aqua Black. And it's their new paper. It comes in three different sizes. We have the 140, which is the um, weight of it, and it's uh, a cold press. And they are going to come out with a 300 pound also. So what we're going to do is I just want to show you a few things on this that you can use many different, um, any, not just watercolors, but you can use acrylics. I have four different products here, and I also started with a, um, Holbein just came out with a masking fluid pen. That's a ballpoint pen. And so for this um, shot right here of the dog, which I'm gonna show you, we're gonna make, do something like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you that the whiskers, I put down like in white paper, on the black paper, I put down the masking fluid pen. And this pen is like a ballpoint pen, and it does not clog up, and so you can just draw it on real easily like you're writing it with a pen. So we're gonna do that, I already put it on there so we can let that happen. So now I'm gonna show you, you can also do watercolor. And so for the background, I'm gonna use some of these uh, Chroma Shine, which is a, also a product that is, um, Chroma Shine is the pearlescence. And so I'm just gonna squeeze some of that in out here real quickly. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that onto the paper and it's not as much as a watercolor as it is an acrylic but it handles just like watercolor on watercolor paper. You have to realize that this is not just black paper, it's actually 100% cotton, and it's sized inside and out throughout the whole paper, on the surface and in, inside. So you can see it just handles just like a watercolor paper. It's not a cover stock type of paper, it's a true watercolor, and they will be coming out with 300 pounds, so you see a little bit of a wave at the 140, but not much, it doesn't, it doesn't weigh very much at all. So here we go with the with the chroma shine. And so that's that part. And then we also use inks. So I will use an ink here. And again, watercolor, inks, acrylics, they all work great together. There's an ink, and it will also do a gouache. This is a gouache. So all these products are just perfect on this black paper. It's kind of fun because the black paper makes it so that the dog, you can see the dog, he's there, and you just go paint around him basically, and so he just kind of comes to life. So here what I'll do is I'll take this and just do a little bit of fur on him. And again, it's um, water, use the water, let it just float like you do with watercolors. So we got that going. And the only thing I have to do is, um, this is dry now. And you'll see um, as we take the, the maskoid, it's, it's nice because it repels the, it repels the water-based um, paints that you're using. I can actually see them because of the black of the paper. It's kind of an odd way of um, doing watercolors because people have thought, well, how can I use watercolor on a black surface? Well, all you have to do is use white with any of your mediums and it comes out really well. Just use a little bit of white. Traditional watercolors don't like to use white because you have the white of the paper, but with black, you do need to use a little bit of white. And just so happened this, um, this dog has a lot of white on him and black, so it all works out perfectly for that. So now I'm gonna just show you how to take the masking fluid off. You just can take your finger, make sure it's totally dry, and then just pull it off. And it'll look just like what you had there already, and just taking the mask right off of it. And so there you have it. You have the whole dog. And let me just put a couple little dots in there for the eyes and we'll be all good to go. So there you have it. We have the, um, we have black watercolor paper by Stonehenge Aqua Black. And um, get some, it's a really great paper to get. My name is Dave Becker and thanks for watching.